Well, we're back now, and we still have Dr. James Donnelly with us, and we're going to talk about sleep apnea now because it's something we hear more and more of. Untreated sleep apnea has serious consequential health costs. Sleep apnea in truckers in one study showed that uh, the cost to continue treating their diabetes after treating the sleep apnea was about half of what it was before that. This, this is in the neighborhood of cutting their annual expenses from about $4,000 to $2,000. Uh, the medical expenses from auto and trucking accidents runs about $15 billion a year. Last fall, there was a lawsuit, a truck driver had sleep apnea, his company let him pr continue driving untreated, he rear-ended a car, killed somebody, there was a $3 million judgment rendered against that trucking company. The numbers can go on and on. S sleep apnea is a factor in all chronic disease, and the medical dollar savings that results from treating sleep apnea early on, catching it while it's, it's in the early stages, it, and even treating it when it is more severe, is significant. It's one of the answers, I believe, to the medical expenses that this country is enduring, and, which is only getting worse because the diabetes rate is predicted to double in the next 40 years. I have with me a few appliances that uh, uh, we use as far as treating snoring and sleep apnea. Almost 100% of people that uh, have sleep apnea grind their teeth. But a lot of people do grind their teeth without having sleep apnea. So if you want to treat their tooth grinding at nighttime when they don't have sleep apnea, we use what's a night guard and this is a simple night guard it can go on the upper or lower jaw it's a, f a flat plastic acrylic device and it just fits over the teeth before we use this we do a screening device have them do a screening to see whether they do have sleep apnea because we don't want to make an appliance like this if they have sleep apnea and they need a different appliance now we have over 90 FDA approved appliances for snoring and sleep apnea this is one. It's called a SUAD. It has a metal frame in it. Uh, this is particularly good for somebody that grinds their teeth because it uh, has additional reinforcement. But this repositions the lower jaw forward and in positioning the lower jaw forward it moves the tongue forward opening up the airway. This is another little more simple device. It has straps that uh, move the lower jaw forward these vary in length and in strength so that uh, over time these can be changed uh, as an individual re require. Now when you hold the lower jaw forward during the night the jaw tends to want to stay in that position so there's various ways to tr treat it in the morning when the appliance is taken out so that it repositions the jaw. This is one that's called the morning positioner and one bites down on it for about 10 minutes and it helps to get the, the, the joint back into a normal position and uh, individuals pop it in after they take their appliance out and by the time they get through showering or washing, shaving, whatever, um, they can take it back out and they're ready for breakfast. This program is sponsored in part by